as someone who doesn't have the latest and greatest motorcycles, something I took heavy advantage of while I was turned through Nevada back to California was the beautiful and seamless integration of cruise control. And if you're wondering why I'm riding the shoulder here, it was 120 degrees and it was faster than lane splitting. Road heat is hot, people. How you doing, Chris? Burning. Burning. How about you, Bearded? Uh, uh, <laughs> How about you, Canadian Chris? Great. I can't taste my face. <laughs> ah, let's not forget Kevin. How you doing, brother? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. But many modern bikes are available with cruise control as standard options or as upgrades to sweeten the idea of riding longer distances on non-traditional touring bikes. And some bikes that come to mind are the new Triumph Rocket 3, the Yamaha FZ10, the Harley Fat Bob and the Indian FTR 1200, and I'm sure that you all could come up with many others. And if you have another bike in mind, drop it down below in the comments. But while cruise control on motorcycles is nowhere near something new, majority of older motorcycles don't have this luxury. So what do we do? Let's talk about it. I use the term cruise control generally because that is a system that is wired into the bike and can modify speed electronically. But a throttle lock is something that holds the throttle open while in motion so the rider doesn't have to hold it open themselves. And there are many, many options out there that mimic cruise control so you can fall into that rabbit hole if you want to with a quick Google search if you like, but we're going to focus on the throttle lock this time. And this is where the easy cruise throttle lock comes into play. It's small, sleek, and it's not too much bigger than a GoPro. And I actually got this throttle lock from my good friend Chris in California. Thank you again for that, Chris. It helped me out a lot. Burning. Burning. So this isn't a sponsored video. I'm putting this out there for my fellow and aspiring boulevard owners because this is what mine is being used on and also anybody else in the community that's looking for some type of solution. So cost, you're looking at about 30 bucks and you can of course subscribe and thumbs up the video for free. Helps me out a lot. But since receiving this little device, I've used it on multiple trips, which has saved me from body cramps and muscle fatigue. And the longest I've ridden with this was to Orlando to meet up and ride with my now good friend, Gen Z Biker. But eight hours one way in sub 40 degree weather and being able to take my hand off of the throttle to use the engine as warmth came in handy. But if anybody wants to sponsor your boy some gloves, my links are in the description. But while riding for hours without stopping, you end up with a sore back pain in the shoulder area from being in one position too long, or you develop hand cramps from keeping the throttle open for long periods. And that's amplified if you're riding in tough climates like upper 90s and sub 50s. And now you have numb body parts and dehydration to deal with furthering your muscle tension. And a throttle lock or cramp buster or cruise control or whatever option you have, drop it in the comments below if you use something different, but either of these options would help alleviate some of those issues. And when I use it, it allows me to get a bit of relief without having to stop my ride prematurely, especially when I have to stop and it's hot and I have to use all of my drinking water. But stay hydrated. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's so damn hot out here. But with the throttle lock, I can shift around and get more comfortable for a few moments while the throttle lock is handling business. Fitment, it'll vary based on your motorcycle and of course grips as they come in different shapes and sizes. But the footprint is small and doesn't get in the way of holding the grip normally and it's small enough to leave in place without removing it each time you get on or off the bike. But to install it, simply loosen the bolt at the top, put it over the grip above the brake lever and tighten it down using the optional silicone rings if needed. And to engage it, you use your index finger or your left hand to roll the throttle lock forward against the brake lever. And to disengage it, you roll the throttle forward. It's that simple, but there are a few downsides. For instance, obvious one if the throttle is locked mechanically you can't use the front or rear brakes to disengage it the clutch lever also does not disengage it as true cruise control would so you do have to remember to roll the throttle forward as you normally would anyway when decelerating or coming to a stop and there's also the problem of the throttle lock not helping maintain a set speed since it is a throttle lock it does the job of locking the throttle in a certain position but that doesn't prevent the motorcycle from losing or gaining speed on road elevations I've had mixed results with this, but in a worst case scenario, I just have to throttle down and re-engage it. But if you're on a descent, you'd be speeding up, so it's the opposite. And I can say that when you are using this device, as simple as it is, the opportunity for comfort outweighs the shortcomings. In build quality and fit and finish, I'd say average. Mine has caused me no issues so far. 
but we're talking $30 here, folks. So either way, minor issues that aren't deal breakers for the cost. And as for speeds while using the Easy Cruise, I've used it at all different speeds, but I tend to gravitate mostly towards that 75 miles per hour range. And you may also get mixed results depending on your throttle grip thickness and brake lever setup. But in my case of the 2007 Suzuki N109R, it just works. So there's my recommendation for N109R owners. And of course, there are similar mechanical options out there that lock the throttle. So a quick store search will give many results to consider. So who is this for? It's for any rider who wants comfort or some type of relief while riding on long rides. That, of course, doesn't have cruise control. But if you do a lot of inner city riding, burning time at the stoplight, you probably wouldn't benefit from this. But on days where you're on the interstate, open road riding, something as simple as a throttle lock goes a long way in comfort. And given how amazing our hobby of motorcycling is, we normally have to pay a premium for comfort. And while the Easy Cruise option isn't perfect, it's a great cheap alternative that can make that ride just a bit more enjoyable. So I recommend it or any other of the competing options that replicate it. So if you enjoyed what I do here, support the channel by simply subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button. And since I'm always trying to improve what I do here, drop a critique in the comments below if you have one. But until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the very near next one. Uh, uh. That felt so good. <laughs> it didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm hot again.